so I've been inspired by Nick Bat of Sonic State to do a Friday Fun Jam, which is where you get some synths together, make some music, and then talk a little bit about the the setup and how you're using it. And so for this jam, I am using the modular, the RD8, and I have the OP1 here. And the way I've got this set up is I'm using the variable waveform generator from Sputnik Modular as my oscillator. And this is an analog oscillator with quite a few different outs and modulation options. And I'm using the square wave out and the sawtooth out. Um, they are going into maths, which I'm using as a kind of VCA and mixer. And from there, it's coming into the dual dagger stereo filter. And because I'm using two outputs into the left and right of the stereo filter, you get a quite a large stereo spread. So let's have a listen to that. Sounds really epic. And I'm getting extra movement by using channel 1 of math to modulate both the pulse width modulation of the square wave and the sort of super saw style sound on the sawtooth. So that's where that movement's coming from if I were to speed that up. <laughs> Incredibly epic sound source. Uh, and I'm also using channel 4 of maths to modulate the filter cutoff to get this nice kind of 80s sounding bass. I really do love that kind of sound. <laughs> and uh, from there we're going into the data bender which I have in the pitch mode and kind of tuned up to find this harmony which is in time but it's still got a kind of counter rhythm feel to it and it will react to the coming audio, the incoming audio so any filter changes for example will affect the sound of the data bender from there into beads. Now I've got beads being triggered quite infrequently. I think I've got it clocked by palms at one eighth of the BPM. So it's just kind of coming at the end of this sequence. Two, three, four, five, six. Or the beginning. <laughs> yeah, that's where I want it. Uh, I've got a sequence running on the key step, which as the sort of track progresses, I end up moving. And I can bring in reverb. I've also got some vibrato if I want it. <laughs> I do like that. Yeah, really cool sound. Over to the OP1 next, which is actually being used as a MIDI controller. Um, I've got Ableton just off to the right here and I'm using the 
Matrix 12 VST from Arturia. Which sounds like that. <laughs> Um, I did spend some time going through the sounds on my OP1 looking for something and then eventually I thought I would open up some VSTs and find some, some sounds and maybe sample them into the VST, into the OP1. But when I found this sound, I just liked it so much and I liked the kind of stereoness of it that I decided to, to just trigger it using this as a controller. That's not cheating, is it? <laughs> And as the track progresses, um, I move the chords up in the OP1 and I think it really works nicely with the, the combination of sequence and chords. element of is of course the RDA which I'm uh, using in a very simple way slightly out very simple beat and on Ableton I've got like a compressor and some reverb and that's about it Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this was a really fun jam and I hope you've enjoyed this kind of Friday fun thing. And uh, if you'd like me to do more of this sort of thing, then please leave a comment and a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you all later. <laughs>